know you're looking, now you're liking what you see. Uh, what's it gon' be? I know you heard about me. I call upon the people here present to witness that I, Sean Colin John Franklin, <laughs> take you, Dorothy Sofan, to be my lawfully wedded wife. When I first met you near the end of the final year of high school, we were at the precipice of making some of the most important decisions of our lives, ones that would shape us for years to come. Little did I realize that you were my most important decision. Since that fateful day, you have become the most important person in my life, having had such an incredible profound impact in, on me in more ways than you can possibly know. You've inspired me to push myself and achieve beyond what I thought was, I was capable of. You've taught me so much about love and the importance of family, and you've been there for me through all of life's ups and downs, supporting me through even my lowest points, like those moments when I find tomatoes in my food. <laughs> After everything you've done for me, I can only hope that I can do the same and more for you. I promise to never take you for granted, to cherish every moment we spend together and to be there for you through every triumph, every tragedy, milestone and terrible movie. I call upon the people here present to witness that I, Dorothy Safan, take you, Sean, Colin, John, Franklin, <laughs> to be my lawful wedded husband. Sean, we started this relationship almost 14 years ago, and when I think back on all the things that drew me to you, I love that you can seemingly strike up a conversation with anyone because you are considerate. It shows how attentive and caring you are about the people around you. I admire your drive to learn and the creativity that comes from everything you absorb. Most of all, I love how you have embraced my family. The fact that you call some of them by their Chinese names is testament to that, and I couldn't imagine my life without you. It makes me truly happy when you share something you've discovered. You have been the driver for most of our shared common interests, whether it be finding games that we can co-op, anime to watch, or sharing your wealth of comic knowledge. You've made me a bigger nerd than I ever thought possible. <laughs> We spent almost half of our lives by each other's sides growing into the people we are now. After today, as your wife, I want to continue to be your person. Someone who will support you and make you feel appreciated. At Sean's 21st, Dot was in cutting up food and, and taking control of all the, of the proceedings of the evening. And I looked at her and I said, you know, if Sean doesn't marry you, he's an idiot. <laughs> And thankfully, he's turned out not to be an idiot. Uh, in Sean, I believe that Dorothy has met her perfect match. He is very one everyone could hope for son in law. Yeah. Every story, every comic has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And we are not even halfway through this gripping saga of love, dedication, and adventure. So everybody here, one more time, raise your glass as I propose a toast. To Dot, one of the most beautiful and caring people I have ever had the distinct pleasure of knowing. And to Sean, who despite me being the best man, is the best man I have ever known. To the newlywed couple. And now, I declare you husband and wife. Sean, you may kiss your wife. I can't wait 
wait to set off on new adventures so you become a father and share the love you show me all these years. Today, I am simply excited to finally be able to make it. I love you, Sean. With every decision I've made in the past, I've always been unsure of myself, filled with doubts and what ifs. But with you, I've never been sure of anything in all my life. I know that with you, by my side, I can be the finest version of myself, and that together we can get through anything. I love you, Dorothy. I loved you then, I love you now, and I'll love you forever now.